Hello, my name is Nick. Welcome to Toyota of Apex Service Department. I heard you might have a question about an indicator light on your dashboard. This here looks like a horseshoe with an exclamation point. That's actually your tire pressure indicator. It means that one or more of your tires is either underinflated or overinflated. Let's take a look outside and see which tire is the problem. All right, today you brought in your 2012 RAV4 with a low pressure tire light. Or perhaps you're at home getting ready to go to work in the morning and you see that light on your dash. First thing you want to do is get out and visually inspect all of your tires. This tire appears to be fine, so we know that it's not completely flat. We look at the other tires, and we actually in this case see a tire that is visibly low on here. You don't want to drive on a tire that's this low where you can actually see it because it will negatively impact vehicle handling, could blow out, and will more than certainly damage the tire and require the entire tire be replaced. If you have a tire that's this low, we recommend you contact roadside assistance, or if you have a pump at home, try to inflate the tire. If you're bringing in a RAV4 or other Toyota vehicle to find the proper inflation pressure for your tires, check the label inside the driver's door jam. It will be located here or here, and it will tell you the front, rear, and spare tire pressures. Alright, since we know the tire that's low, we're going to go ahead and try to inflate it. If you've got a pump at home or you're at the dealership, uh, the principle is the same. Whether you're at home or at a service station, if you don't see a tire that's visibly low, like the one in our example, make sure you check all of your tires for proper pressure. With this RAV4, you want all tires to be at 32 pounds per square inch, or 32 PSI. Also, remember that if you have a RAV, Highlander, other SUV or truck, you may have a full-size spare that also has a pressure monitor in it. You want to check that as well, because it could also trigger your low-pressure tire light. As you notice, now that we've corrected the tire pressures, the light goes off immediately. This is true of all of our newer vehicles, 2012 and newer, and most 11 models. As a general rule of thumb, that light will probably come on two to three times a year simply because tires naturally lose air and you will have to top them off from time to time, which is exactly what the system's designed to do. Make sure that your tires are always maintained at the proper pressure.